Hey guys, Brendan from TAT here. Um, today we've got a bit of a two for one, so a common fault on the Ford Ranger, but also we get to play around with our new um, smoke machine that we've got here from Auto Equip Australia. So this is the um, Nexus, that the, the beauty of this thing is we can do um, boost pressure, so not just a, a regular smoke machine, also one that can deal with turbo. So we've got our Ford Ranger here. It's got a, a math performance code. And we know that it's probably not going to be a fault with the mass airflow sensor. They're quite reliable on these. We need to look at what is going to affect that. Um, what could make the ECU get upset with the output of that sensor? A lot of the time it's going to be air leaks. So first thing we do is we grab out our, our smoke machine and, and I do that when, whenever I see a math code. It's one of my first go-tos. Now we've recently picked up from Auto Equip Australia this Nexus. Um, not just can it do your regular vacuum, I'm sorry, your regular smoke machine, but we can put some boost into this thing. So I played around with it, we've only just got it, but it's capable of going even over 20 psi. Um, let's come and take a quick look at the machine first before we get it up on there. So, um, very simple to use. We've got a battery, which obviously we could use the vehicle battery, but I've got it on this little dolly. Battery simply connects into the side here. So this is now going. We've got our smoke output. Now at the moment, got it on turbo we could just flick that over to low pressure and it's, it's unadjustable but right now having it on the turbo so we can then use our regulator here and if I give a bit of resistance here you'll we'll start to see we're building boost pressure basically so we're up to 10 psi now and that's where I've got it regulated we could open that up a bit more and this thing easily goes over to 20 but I feel safe we'd be closer to say the 15 if you're struggling to find it I wouldn't go much over you'll hear when I let that go and the smoke comes out, there was quite a lot of pressure there, right? So, um, all we need to do is hook that up to the vehicle. Now another great thing that comes with it that's almost worth the price of admission in itself is this little bladder. So we can do that up. This allows us to connect into the vehicle wherever, whatever orifice, no matter the shape, and we can pump that up and it's going to make a nice seal. We can then put our smoke in through there and it's going to be good to go. So. We'll stop this smoking everywhere on us. You can see it um, has no trouble making the smoke, um, but we'll get this hooked up into the car and we'll, we'll see if we can find the leak. Pump up that bladder and I've now got a nice seal there, even though it's, you know, it'd be very, very difficult to get, say, a cone apparatus in there. I'm gonna give this power again. Straight away, we've got smoke nice and quick. Now we're going through that intake system, so um, we'll see if it does require pressure. Nice flow gauge on here, so that's very important in that we can adjust the flow, because sometimes you will want less flow from your smoke machine. I know it sounds weird, but when you're looking for a leak and there's smoke everywhere, sometimes you might want to turn it down, just look for that wisp. Um, but we can also use this flow meter here, which is very important, because if we um, are not able to drop down to a reasonable um, low flow, then we have a, a leak somewhere and we need to go keep looking for it, right? So this one, it's going through the system. At the moment, it's still filling up. Um, drum roll, you know, we all know it's a Ranger. It's either gonna have a hose or an intercooler. I can see it coming from this area. So. Yeah, sure enough, so the hose is all right, but this one definitely has a split intercooler. And in this case, the, the rupture is so large that it's only required just over a PSI or so to, to find that leak. But I guarantee you, um, this is going to come in super handy things like uh, ones that have burnt me. So Mercedes Sprinter, the intake manifold, the, the bolts will snap on those just through use. And um, you get a boost leak, but it's only under boost. I guarantee you, you will not find that with a, a regular smoke machine. Um, so yeah, this thing's going to come in and real handy. Okay guys, so we got the new intercooler on there now obvious little split that these get just there. Um, so we've got a new intercooler on there and we're now able to pressure test the system. So you can see at the moment I've got it regulated to 10 PSI. So we're in the same spot. We've used our, our little um, bladder that you can expand up and it seems to be quite capable of holding this 10 PSI, which, which is basically what I, would, I feel comfortable with. I mean, it could go some more so we can take it up. But I feel if the system's going to leak, 10 PSI is quite reasonable. We're not here to um, try and blow the bladder out and that kind of thing. Um, coming over here you can see, so I do have some pressure in this, this hose now when I squeeze it. Uh, I have no more smoke, so not only have I fixed the leak, but I can be confident 
that um, I don't have any other leaks before I send it out with the same setup. So just in case anyone was wondering where I picked this up, this is the autoequipaustralia.com.au website with the Nexus Vehicle Smoke Leak Detector. I um, guarantee you they are in stock. There's some good information on this page here about smoke machines in themselves if you haven't used one. Um, but they also have a lot of information obviously about the machine itself. So this is the two-in-one that we were using in the video today. Um, they also do sell just the turbo or just the EVAP being low pressure. But we're using the two-in-one which I think is a good functional tool. Um, so definitely get on to them. Being a TAP member I'm sure they, they'd be happy to do you a deal if you get in contact. Um, so autoequipaustralia.com.au and I think this is a really good addition to the market um, versus some of the other smoke machines that, that aren't able to produce pressure um, going into the turbo era. Um, this is going to be a really handy tool. Thanks guys.